Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Now, you guys know that I have made lots of the different cake box cookies, and this is for you today, Sally. I have made this on video before, but I do make a lot of videos, so I can see where people might not realize I've made it before, maybe they just wanna see it again, um, whatever, whatever the reason is. So, what I'm gonna be doing today is, Sally requested, because you guys hear me keep talking about the strawberry, um, cake box cookies. So I'm going to bring you down here. We'll get those started here. And I'm going to go ahead and get my bowl out here. Dump in my cake box. All right. You're going to need two eggs. And then I definitely put the um, vanilla in the strawberry ones. Now I have made this also with um, some freeze-dried strawberries. It turned out very good. Just gave it more of a strawberry flavor. And then a half a cup of cooking oil. All right. These are just how easy these cookies are. And my um, thing to you all is that you've seen me make quite a few different of the cake box cookies and if you happen to think of anything at all that might be something that you want to see or you think I might want to try or taste or whatever let me know in the comments down below I will try my best to either research it or if you find a video you're welcome to you know put the video down below I don't mind um, helping other subscribe other channels out and no I don't get mad if someone else says oh I have seen it on this because you know there's five bazillion different channels I'm not the only one on YouTube so it's not like I think I'm the only one and the only one I deserve you all to watch because I know that's not true then I'd like to put the white chocolate chips in here. My husband doesn't care for this cookie as much because he doesn't, both him or my daughter doesn't care for the white chocolate chips. I think it makes this just absolutely, just fabulous. And then um, I took some of those cookies over uh, to my neighbor, those ones I made of the Reese's, and she thought that was really good, but she hears me carry on about these Strawberry cookies, so you know a few is going to go over to her on those. And my brother-in-law is here, so he's going to want to take a couple home. So I have my June set over there on 350. I'll be cooking these for like 12 minutes. And um, on a regular pan that's um, not nonstick, I highly suggest putting down some parchment paper. But this one here works pretty good for having the cookies come up off it here. The June just told me it made it up to the temperature. So as soon as this um, tray is done with the, the cookies, I'll go ahead and throw that first batch in. Be waiting at 12 minutes and then go ahead and um, I'll get that second batch in there. Now, I really did really, really, really like those chocolate chip ones, and I don't know for sure which one. I mean, these strawberry ones is probably my favorite, probably than the chocolate chip. And then, I don't really have one past this one, but um, it, I think they're all pretty good. So, let me go ahead and get this in the oven. I'll be right back. Now, on my, um, my June oven... The 12 minutes works perfectly for here in Michigan. I mean, obviously, if you're in a different state, that might not be what you need. I mean, obviously, the cooking times even, um, how much flour sometimes you need for bread versus what somebody else needs. It's different per state, per area that you're in. But this, to me, the, the 12 minutes works perfectly every time. So that's what I continue to use because that way it's, it stays nice and and just super moist and 
you know, it just I just love it. So, like I said, it's one of my favorite ones. And Sally said, well, just make another video of it. To, you know, let me see it. Um, so, of course, I try to do the things that you all ask of me. So, you don't think I'm just sitting here just trying to think of things on my own. This obviously won't be the 12 in this batch, but it's okay. And as soon as that first batch gets done and cooled off, I'll bring you back. All right, friends, so this is what they're looking like. And as you can see, it has a nice color on the back. And because twist, twist, break, snap, These are just so amazingly yummy. So definitely, if you get a chance to make these, definitely make some. Like I said, this is probably one of my favorites. And um, also, if you all happen to think of any flavors or any combinations or anything, I'd like to try to make this kind of fun. Um, let me know in the comments down below of uh, what kind of cookie you can come up with that I can maybe hopefully make it happen. And thank you very much for stopping by. You all have a very blessed and wonderful day.